You must be interested in some good old dimensional problem solving. Well, in that case, you're playing the right trial. Here is some pertinent information that you will need for the next several minutes. In case you are wondering, I am Professor Fitz Quadrangle, and you just so happen to be in my house. Fine, now you can go. That's a very sophisticated invention of mine. A drinking bird, it presses buttons. In this instance, it presses the button that triggers a dimensional shift. Ah, 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 ah. Wait for it. Fluffy dimension. It's adorable, right? Well, it's also useful, as everything is now 10 times lighter. Though that looks like a regular scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. You are now wearing an interdimensional shift glove, or IDS glove. This will soon enable you to shift dimensions on your own. Also, because you are wearing an IDS glove, dimensionality will not apply to you on shifting, and you will remain the same shape, mass, and speed. Oh, lucky you! That cylinder is an IDS battery, and it powers dimensional shifts. Toss it into the large receptacle mounted on the wall. Over there, on that receptacle will distribute the power source around the room, allowing you to now use your IDS device to switch dimensions at your leisure. So you've gotten a taste of fluffy dimension, and you've seen the IDS battery that enables you to switch to it. Now it's time for you to find out about a whole new dimension in this next room. This is a new battery that powers a completely different dimension. Go ahead and put it into the receptacle. Heavy dimension! Rather than objects being lighter than normal, they are now substantially heavier. You know what I miss? Keytars. They always make music so much better. Oh, but I digress. This next area is rather interesting. With the increased density and higher melting points of items in heavy dimension, quadrangle laser beams are rendered rather ineffectual. I would watch yourself around those laser beams. They don't exactly tickle. Oh, that uh, creature there is an interdimensional kinetic entity, or Ike. Ah, that's where that got to. That is a botched experiment of mine called the Awkward Noise Generator. There's got to be more around here somewhere. Not half bad. I'm not sure if you understand the sheer brilliance that went into creating a device like the one you're using.
Unfortunately, I'm going to have to take away your control of the IDS device for a bit. In lieu of showing you one more dimension. Well, this is it. The last part of the trial. Good luck. Careful, the blades are rather sharp. Slow motion dimension. Rather self-explanatory, I think. I would move if I were you. I believe I stole these and hid them at one point. He's rather fond of shiny objects. Step off now! Okay, next. You should be able to fit through. Don't forget to breathe. It's an important aspect of life. Splendid! You've proved adept at overcoming rather obtuse obstacles. It's a shame that this is only <clears throat> a trial. I hate to admit it, but I think I could use your help.